What's up guys, this is just going to be a quick video on understanding the linkage points and what they look like on an MP231J transfer case. You know, I put a slip yoke eliminator on this case and I did it wrong and it was because of my alignment of this uh, plate right here and so didn't see a video on YouTube that explained it very well so that's what this is for so this is a stock case with a stock output shaft this is your slip yoke this is a rough country slip yoke eliminator both the cases are 231 J's and uh, they're both in four low right now so this one's got the top half off and you'll see right there down on that plate you've got oops those numbers and the letters MF. Now those letters MF, I found, they can be stamped in any orientation, but they look to be consistently in that area. So when it's in four low, you want them right there. Um, you got your detent spring for the four wheel drive right there. It's that right there in the center of the camera. That's what turns your instrument gauge light on. And down here at the bottom, is your actual detent spring that uh, locks it into gear. So you wanna make sure that you're dead in the middle of the valley down there. Now, where I built mine wrong was this gear right here that the chain, uh, that sits just underneath the chain. I can't remember what that gear is called, but basically it's orientation specific, which sounds kind of ridiculous to say out loud, but this, uh, this lip right here, is perfectly perpendicular to the horizontal lip that my ring finger is on right there. Now, if you look at down at the other side right here at uh, this one, it's got a taper to it. Now that taper, you can assemble the case with it upside down and it will not shift into four wheel drive and two wheel drive, but it'll still go together. And that's where I messed up. So make sure that you get your uh, non tapered side pointed up like I've got on this one the taper side pointed down and that you got your uh, shifting forks in the nestling dowel slot up there that way they uh, they're secure good and these fork pads right here there's three of them on this outer fork you can get them on Amazon for 11 bucks I got some new ones on this one and uh, you can see them down there $11 on Amazon but new chain on Amazon as well this this chains in pretty good shape and uh yeah so hopefully this helps you guys if you're in a pickle trying to get your transfer case to shift right